feel like making this video will in some way help me mentally. And who knows, maybe even help someone who sees this video. I had to put my thoughts onto paper for this one while listening to The Last of Us soundtrack to really make sure I'm saying what I want to say. So let me just get into it. Yes, it's probably dumb of me, but from time to time I like to check in on this girl I dated back when I was 19. I'm 26, almost 27 now. We dated for six months, and to this day it's my longest relationship ever. And I'm the one that broke up with her. After I did, however, I tried to fix things, but she had already moved on. Although what was funny was that anytime her new boyfriend did something she didn't like that I used to do, she would get pissed and think of me, according to one of her now ex-friends, as girls say, I guess. I don't know, that's too much drama for me. But then one of my ex's friends years ago told me to stop talking to her and was threatening me and saying, I hope your cancer kills you. She was a super sane Karen, like it was nuts at the time. Well, when I went to go on to her social media, because she has me blocked probably from that crazy friend of hers, I see that she's engaged to this dude she's been dating for over two years. Now, should I have ever from the start even looked her up? I'm sure most will say no. But I did it because just seeing her happy reminded me of simpler times. Before I was diagnosed with this rare cancer called von Hippel-Lindau disease, back when I was in college just partying with my homies, and now in 2023, I have no job, my cancer is probably killing me slowly, but surely. The medication I'm on, Wellareg, is helping, sure, but who knows what's going to happen by the time I'm 30. I may not even make it to 30. You know, when I came, quote-unquote, back to YouTube, probably what was like the fourth or fifth time since I've taken multiple breaks throughout the years, it wasn't because I was on medical leave for my job, like I said it was. It was because I was fired from that job, and it was political backstabbing. I never did anything wrong, they just didn't like me. Sure, I made mistakes on the job, but who doesn't? Then I tried to go to that radio station job after being fired from the television station I was at just to have my rights violated, specifically the Americans with Disabilities Act. My boss told me your cancer medication is your responsibility and wouldn't adjust my hours of 3 a.m. to noon. So I was going into work every day getting sick like a cancer patient because I couldn't sleep through the nausea from my meds. And now, today, I have no job. I have some income every few months from investments I made in the stock market, but... Besides that, that doesn't cover my bills. I feel like I'm on a sinking ship, slowly losing oxygen because I can't find work. I can't find relationships, be it friends or a spouse or anything in between. All my friends are busy with their own lives. And I'm dealing with a potential ban from Konami that I'm still waiting to hear back on. I say all this because if there's anything I want the world to learn from me... When I eventually leave this earth and I have my book that will live on, that people can read and hopefully be inspired from, treat your body like a temple. Don't do drugs. Don't drink too much. Don't smoke. If you're nervous about asking that guy or girl out, bleh, guy or girl out do it anyway because you only got one shot. You're nervous to ask your boss for that promotion? Who cares? Just do it anyway. I ended up commenting on my ex's latest video on her YouTube channel. And all I said was, I should have married this girl when I had the chance. I never should have ended things with her just because I felt like I was always walking around eggshells because I didn't want to hurt her by mistake. If I could go back in time, I would do so much different. Because at the end of the day, if this shit cancer has taught me anything, even during the nights I go to bed almost wishing to not wake up tomorrow because of what I've been through and my diagnosis, it's that you learn to keep walking. And yes, I have days where I've said to myself, man, I wish I could check out early, so to speak. Or man, I hope today's the day. It's my last day. I've written my book. People will hopefully be inspired. But no, I wake up the next day with another chance to be a better person, to learn from my past, another day to find that wife, another day closer to hopefully being a dad. At this point, I don't care if it's a boy or a girl. I just want them here. But is it still hard? You're damn right it is. God. I wish I could go back in time and fix everything wrong I've ever done, and I can't. But what I can do is leave behind a legacy, no matter when this cancer decides to say GG, pal. And finally, to my ex's soon-to-be husband, please treat her right, because you're clearly doing a better job than I ever could. But keep that crazy girl away from me. She creeps the shit out of me, the one that was threatening me. <laughs> But with all that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again soon.